All right, so we got a bit of a time sensitive project here. Now off camera, we've been working on clearing out this space that the previous owner had junked. They threw a bunch of milk cartons and pots and trash and toilets. What we're doing is converting that space into an expansion of my permaculture garden. So I have ordered two pawpaw, two hearty almond, and 20 strawberry, which is gonna replace the junk. We're gonna turn it into a fruitful and productive type of area. But since I got those in already, they're bare root plants. They need to go in the ground now. So I'm gonna finish off clearing out some of these trees and all this overgrowth here, so that the trees can have room to grow upwards and get a little more sun also. So we're gonna take the chainsaw, cut the trees out, take a rake, get some of the junk out, We'll get our shovel and our, our gardening tools. We're gonna put in the plants and uh, let, them, let them get established for the springtime. I'll show you the current state of everything um, and then we'll go from there. I told you we're working off camera, cleaning out some of the space and this is what we're working with. Hundreds of milk crates, half of them are bagged. The other ones I couldn't fit in there. I got a trailer load of toilets and plastic covers and metal and I guess they just use this as a dump for some reason this beautiful property they they decimated they desecrated so this is what we're working with the plan is actually to make a path through this so we're going to trim up some of these trees and connect some of our other trail systems we got going here lots of dead trees lots of scragglers things I don't want so this is what we're working with get to it. I'm thinking I get the rest of these stragglers out. I'm gonna leave the more mature ones. I'll decide on them later. I don't wanna just rip down everything. I'll let the, the older growth thrive a little bit for the time being. Just 
for the fun of it, I'm gonna see what I can bulldoze over with John Deere 1025 or and I'll come back in with the chainsaw and clean up the rest. Now, I want to make one more point before I move on. You guys see what I'm doing. But this doesn't have to be just firewood. You don't have to have a brush fire to get rid of it all. There's other ways to, to reuse these type of resources. One of which I'll be doing this year and I'll be putting twigs, logs, branches, leaves into a raised bed. So you can make sure you, you fill up the space with things that allow for drainage that will eventually break down over time and feed the soil. So don't just burn it all. I mean, you can. It's great to have a fire. I love a fire. You can also do hugel culture. Look up, in, look up into that. Um, just think on it. Not everything's got to be thrown to waste. So we're going to start out by digging our hole. The hole needs to be about twice the size of the roots and as deep as the roots. Okay, so I've got my hole dug. I brought some cardboard and I have saved the native soil here that the tree is going to be grown in uh, to surround the roots with. Now here's my tree. This is a pawpaw. What I'm going to do, take a little mound of this native soil and put it in the center of the hole. Not too packed because you're going to want it to grow through it. Get any rocks out of there. So it might not be the greatest, but this is where it's going to grow in. So it needs to be able to survive. All right, so we've got our hole dug and a small mound that we'll place the roots around. I think it's going to fit best like this. Okay. Now what I'll do is fill back in around. And I also left a little bit of the bottom kind of loose so that the roots have no problem penetrating the soil as they grow. I'll firmly press that in there. Looks straight to me. Right. Add the rest of the soil back in and around. Continue to get rocks out of it. I got shale here pretty close actually so I'll chip that out give it some breathing room
put it around the base of the tree like so. And there you go. What we'll do, I did go out and get some soil to put around the base of it. I don't have a compost or anything just yet. I'll be starting that though, soon. Slice it open. And this will be our base. Now the point of this is weed barrier from here and also it'll break down eventually and start feeding the rest of the plant, the rest of the soil. There you have it. So I'll do the rest of these and then I'll come back around and, and water them in real good. That's the whole extent of it guys. I'll come back to you when I'm finished.